Hey fifth graders, Mr. Balam here. We're going to learn how to write a testable question today. Testable questions. A testable question is one that can be answered by designing and carrying out an experiment. Scientists love to do experiments. Once we've done our observations, we ask questions and we specifically try to ask a testable question, one that we can answer by doing an experiment or investigation. Testable questions have two different really important parts. One is the dependent variable and one is the independent variable. The dependent variable is something that we will measure in an experiment. It's what we're going to measure. The independent variable is something that gets changed in the experiment. So there's always something we're changing when we're doing experiments. We're changing one aspect and that is called the independent or experimental variable. Okay, and this is how we would write a testable question. Does changing the independent or experimental variable affect the measurement of the dependent variable? Okay, so we're going to see in this testable question example, does changing the height of the ramp affect the speed of the car going down the ramp? So the dependent variable is what we're going to measure. And if we read carefully, it says we're going to measure the speed of the car. And the thing that we're changing, as you can see in the picture, is we're going to change the height of the ramp and then measure the speed. So the dependent variable is measuring the speed. The independent variable, the thing we're changing, is the height of the ramp. Testable question number two. Does changing the amount of light affect how much a plant grows? So again, we can quickly see the thing that we're changing. The independent variable is the amount of light. And the dependent variable, the thing we're measuring, is how much the plant grows. This could be investigated by setting up plants with different amount of light and measuring how quickly the plants grow with different amounts of light. Okay. Does measuring the temperature of water affect the time it takes a sugar cube to dissolve another example of a testable question there's something that's changing and that would be the temperature of the water the dependent variable and the thing that we're measuring is how long or the length of time that it would take a sugar cube to dissolve or melt in the water All right. I'm gonna skip ahead here a little bit um, we're gonna get down to the work that uh, yes here we go how does a paper airplane fly We've been working with paper airplanes, and the question is, how does a paper airplane fly? Does that seem like it would be a testable question? Does it have something that we measure? Do you see something that we change? So that is not a testable question. Let's make the question testable. So we're going to have to decide what we're going to measure. For example, we could measure the distance that the plane flies, or we could measure the length of time that the plane stays in the air. Those are usually the two things that we can measure when testing with paper airplanes. We then need to decide uh, what will be changed. What is the independent variable? The thing that we could change, for example, the paper that the plane is made out of could be changed, or the shape of the plane's parts. Or we could add or remove parts, such as adding uh, paper clips to add more weight. You could uh, snip off parts of the airplane to make it work differently. So your job today is to uh, make an airplane question testable. So I've given some clues uh, after this video in, in this task today um, to answer or fill in these blanks. How does changing blank affect blank? I'd like you to write a testable question and then see if you can run a few experiments to make to actually test that question. 